Tonight I'm uh, satisfied with the car. Now there's no, uh, nothing really malfunctioning. Something is worn, maybe. But the the clinking, clanking sound from the from the rear suspension uh, has totally disappeared, and um, it was uh, of course very simple. I showed in another video that um, I was a, a bit dissatisfied with some some clunking sounds from my rear suspension, <coughs> but um, it turned out it, it was just. Uh, the bolts needing uh, some tightening. <laughs> it's, it's simple. And I, I'm unable to enjoy anything technical if it's not uh, perfect, not just uh, working okay. So that's my problem with this car. But uh, this evening, I just went for an evening drive, and this evening it's, uh, it's really good. So now it's, it's working as intended, I would say. There are some uh, wear and noise still. For instance, the, the drive shaft, um, the propeller shaft has some uh, have some 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 wear, and it uh, it gives a, a a strange sound in the in the whole uh, structure of the car. And uh, the gearbox, the fifth gear, is uh, is, is quite noisy. <clears throat> but it doesn't it doesn't really matter because everything feels okay now. It's really a joy to drive the car like this and I can really start planning ahead. As you might know, I uh, went to uh, Ring Knustorp uh, over the last weekend and I talked to some of the racers and, I, and I'm planning what to do with the engine and so forth uh, in order to get my technical papers for uh, racing. Maybe it's not as uh, complicated as I, I thought in the first place. I'll get into details about the modifications, but uh, in short, I think uh, I'll keep the head because the 1600cc head is the same as the 1300 um, and the bottom as well. And then I'll just have, uh, have another crankshaft in another um, a cylinder block with cylinders and of course the bearings and, and uh, pistons as well, some uh, high performance parts uh, with, without uh, violating the, the FIA specifications. And then of course uh, the car is up for uh, a paint job, or rather a film job. Um, I'll start looking into fixing all these little dents and getting them straightened and, and uh, prepare the car for the film job. And I suppose that's about it. And I'm looking for some crinkle paint, you know, uh, black crinkle paint for the dash top here. And I'll do a, a smart uh, artwork or something on the doors that'll make a smart design. And then the rear deck here over the, over the, the trunk will also need a, a paint job, also a black crinkle. But uh, I think now it's time to uh, to take the car home. I'm on my one of my favorite roads here, and it's a nice uh, spring evening, just uh, just right. And did you see the trumpets? The new uh, nice metal trumpets. Uh, which, by the way, are, are far too small. Uh, I got a, I got a, a message on my blog today from uh, Wow or something. His name was I think he's from uh, Portugal, and he uh, he sent me an article about how to get the right trumpets on your engine, and you're able to uh, to really gain some horsepower from that. Of course, we know this already, and for instance, the red trumpets I had on my have on my uh, Bartone gave a, a five horsepower at least and a better traction so when this car will return to Stefan in his workshop I think uh, we'll re-jet it 
and we'll get the the engine to run okay as a 1600 and as I said use the parts in the 1300 and we will um, we will also look into the induction and maybe get uh, better trumpets I have uh, I have some sources for that damn it's expensive <laughs> but exciting and now is a little uh, epilogue I filled up the tank on my way home and uh, there's something about the the Shell V Power. I, I uh, just finished a tank of uh, 99 uh, octane, unleaded, with a squeeze of this of this uh, lead substitute, and it gave me uh, eight and a half kilometers per liter with the bad tune. Remember, and ordinary 95 octane, also with a lead substitute, it gives me seven and a half. Spirited driving, okay, but uh, it's a better fuel economy from the from the V power, and that's what I also see from my Batona. Interesting thought. <laughs>